But um, there was some cool stuff here. Uh, Australian Idol. Uh, Frankie, do you want to play Australian Idol tonight? Nope. He didn't want to play. Uh, didn't want to have a singing contest against me, so we put that... <laughs> We are on our way to Busselton. This is another part of our uh, down south trip. Busselton. Uh, Frankie's with me again. And uh, this is two hours from our house, Busselton. Two hour drive from uh, where we live. And uh, hopefully we get some good shit. We got some all right shit in uh, Dunsborough. Yeah, it, was, it was okay. It was okay, but you can't win them all. Um, for a three hour drive, it should have been better. Uh, but this one, I reckon, I've got a good feeling. I've got a fucking good feeling, eh? Good feeling? Yeah, good feeling. So we're going to Bustleton. I haven't been here since I was a kid. So. I've never been to a pop shop here, so it should be oh, interesting. I've never been to an op shop here either, so it's going to be good. Alright, let's go straight to the op shops and uh, see who can get the uh, best stuff. No, it's not a competition anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's just get some good stuff. Let's get some good stuff to resell. Let's do it! Here we are at the St. Mary's Op Shop as our first stop in the beautiful Bustleton. What a beautiful place if you've never been down south in Western Australia. With the big bridge, nice area, beautiful area, and we had a real good day. It was a two hour, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that drive from uh, mine and Frankie's. And uh, this was the first stop. Did find some VHS tapes, Australia at the Olympics, but that's no good to me. Uh, these tapes that we did find, I was hoping to find a lot of good stuff down here, but uh, especially old tapes, but uh, no, nah, shame on cricket, and they, they, did, they just don't go good, those ones, so they were no good to me. Uh, they had a decent toy area, but it was mainly all baby toys, and I hate it when it's just all baby toys. Uh, no fun for me when it's just all baby toys. Did find this Ninja Turtles van, more of a modern day van, but uh, it had a broken door, uh, the machine gun part there was a bit broken, didn't have the pop out bit. Uh, I left that, even though it was only a couple of bucks, probably could have put it with my own collection. Uh, here's a nice doll head, I thought I'd uh, give that to Frankie. Frankie, do you want that doll head? He just laughed and did not want it. Don't understand why, because he collects Barbies. One dollar for all the clothing, one dollar for all the clothing. You cannot get any happier than that. But unfortunately, all the clothing was all women's clothing. And me and Frankie don't know jack shit about women's clothing. We did have a look through and we we're very confused. We don't have a clue in the world. There was a tiniest little section of blokes clothes. Had a look through there and they were no good. Unfortunately, no good at all. Then there was an inside part here. And all, you, and all the females come down to this uh, store because uh, if you want $1 clothing, you guys are going to have a ball, an absolute ball. But we found inside here, heaps of DVDs. Uh, they wanted a little bit too much for the DVDs, but that was okay. Uh, it wasn't anything really worth picking. I don't like to pick them unless they're 50 cents. Did find this for $2, this uh, children's uh, sealed baby Tommy's toddler's car. Could have got 25 bucks for that, but uh, Frankie's got little children, and uh, I said, Frankie, you know what, mate? You can have that one. Who remembers this? Who remembers the monster? The the monster in Canberra or whatever it's called, this book. Uh, this book, yeah, the monster that ate Canberra. A classic book from when I was a kid. This picture on the wall kind of freaked me out. Didn't understand what it was, but it was like a grim reek bar walking down this set of stairs. I wish I brought it. It was kind of really freaky, but then it was an oil painting, a painting of some sorts. It was like very, very demonic and weird. Should have brought it, but Kelly would have killed me. Yeah, fucking another item stolen off me. I got nothing in that place. Absolutely nothing. That was shit. I reckon, I reckon, I got a feeling that you're taking me on uh, just the places that you fucking know where there's books and fucking baby stuff. You know, I've never been there before. I know, but you've probably looked it up anyway. I don't know. I don't trust you. Oh, 
The fucking room, the hidden room, I'm taking that. <laughs> Not bad. Walk home. Not bad because I fucking thought that uh, that op shop was finished and I went and waited out the front, but there was a secret compartment room that fucking someone didn't tell me about and he went in there and got all the clothes before I could get in there. Typical Frankie. Should be ashamed of yourself, really. Yeah. Should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. And then you had to pick up that disgusting Plus, Adelaide crow shit. Yes. Gifted to my son. True. Exactly. Exactly. To the next one. That was a dirty, dirty tactic by Frankie, finding that extra hidden room and not telling me while I was waiting outside. But we went to this next op shop, and this was like a church religious op shop where the prices were ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I, if, uh, if you ever drive past this one, I recommend do not enter. Look, there's Jesus DVDs everywhere, Jesus books. Uh, found this Ken Duncan uh, puzzle for Frankie, and we do have a little gentleman's agreement. If I find uh, Ken Duncan stuff first, I uh, let him have it, because if he finds horror VHS, he know where it's coming to. So there you go, Frankie. Oh, I don't have that one, he says, so don't you worry about that. Uh, but uh, he did go to the uh, section that I should have gone to first, and he found this nice waffle uh, west, southwest regional uh, country uh, football jersey. Uh, there's Hannah Montana there. That was probably the most interesting thing I found in this store, but this all sucked. A uh, whole heap of Dockers DVDs, but they wanted $3 a piece for them. $3 a piece. I wanted them for my own collection. Wasn't happening. I was not paying $3. Nah. -uh. And they had their church music cranking the whole time we were there. Uh, yeah, Frankie did find some good stuff in there, but I think he overpaid. He overpaid. Uh, I think that little uh, waffle jersey was the uh, only good find that was in there. And maybe we should have both brought that Hannah Montana diary. i got to tell you, I'm not impressed with that place at all. i got nothing. Absolute crap place. Rapper stop shop. I left Frankie in there to purchase some stuff. He's getting a couple of shirts, then we'll go to the next one. That was just... Frankie, where are you taking us, man? It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Hey, Rob. Yeah. I asked for a discount for this jumper and I gave it to me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Tell you what, it was an absolute conspiracy with some of the places Frankie was taking me. Uh, but here we go with the salvos, and this one is where I brought the game back. Uh, Frankie was kicking my ass, but uh, with my find on this one, we uh, even the money up. Uh, the books were okay here. The books weren't too bad. I did find some okay stuff. Everything was totally wrapped up and sealed already. Uh, Frankie was already going for the shirts, so I uh, did the old uh, quickly came around the side and cut him off. Uh, from where he was up to to see if I could find anything good. I didn't, but I still cut him off in his path. Did what I hate, but look what I found in the kids section. This 2009, 2009 Fremantle Dockers red training jersey. Oh man, this is a, this is a ripper this one. And usually I don't like to show on camera uh, until the show and tell of what we find, but I had to show that one. So the next op shop we went to, um, Frankie didn't want those dinosaurs. I was trying to feed him off those dinosaurs. This one that we went to wasn't the greatest either, uh, but um, I did find a few bits and pieces here and there. Here's another Buffy. $5. How come everyone wants $5 for a Buffy box set? I don't understand why everyone wants $5 for a Buffy box set. Jerry Springer. I, I kind of wish I brought this because I can't find full episodes on uh, YouTube. So, I wish I brought that Jerry Springer now for my own uh, entertainment, but I didn't. And what do we got here? Battlestar Galactica, the original series. I did pick that up, so this is one that I will be showing you later in the show and tell. Uh, three bucks, thank you very much. I'll put that in my basket. Alright, so off to the next one. We only had 20 minutes, 20 minutes before they closed in this one. This one was one big ass shed. Uh, this was a pretty cool op shop, but not when we first walked in it. When we first walked in, we thought it was just all women's clothing. Uh, we walked in, some bed stuff, few videos. That was pretty cool. Uh, Frankie 
do you realize you put that back on the shelf and didn't buy it because until I just reviewed this footage that cup you put it back uh, and you were supposed to get it and you forgot uh, that's a cool Pac-Man uh, Pac-Man Beatles crossover shirt but I left that uh, didn't bother with that one because that wouldn't sell and I'm not gonna wear that one myself but um, there was some cool stuff here uh, Australian Idol, uh, Frankie, do you want to play Australian Idol tonight? Nope, he didn't want to play, uh, didn't want to have a singing contest against me, so we put that one back. Um, this was the last store, uh, this one here, this was an alright uh, store, I think this one was the Vinnies. Uh, Frankie did find a lot more than me here, I did find jeans, I did buy jeans, you'll see jeans in show and tell, uh, which is a rare occasion, me buying some jeans. But um, a lot of books here, and uh, as you see, Frankie's uh, loving the puzzles as usual. But um, of London Piccadilly, I think that is. Uh, I'm not sure where that was, but uh, not bad. Not bad little pick up there. I quickly went to the, there's a Bazing shirt again. We always see in these damn Bazing shirts. But I uh, quickly went to the clothes before Frankie did while he was distracted with the books. Didn't have much luck. That's why I had to end up going to the jeans. But uh, wasn't too much good stuff in there until I uh, did find, bingo, uh, a fake Dockers jersey. Fucking fake one. Wasn't happy, but uh, at least I still got to the section before Frankie got there. That's the main thing. I know uh, what areas he goes to now. So I found these jeans. Uh, not bad. Not bad pick up there. But, you know, the problem is I don't know what the hell I'm looking for still when I look at jeans. Uh, they looked legit to me. And if they look legit to me, I'm happy with that. Uh, Frankie was getting these uh, children's books. These were all uh, stories. I was just fucking with him here at the end because I wanted to go. I'd had enough. So uh, I thought, fuck it, let's fuck with Frankie and chuck some extra books in his pile. You see he's getting frustrated there and trying to give him that one too to buy, but uh, he didn't want it. Uh, he's still trying to read. I'll give him that one as well. Take that one, Frankie. Just trying to get him to move on. I had enough. All right, let me show you what uh, Frankie got from the uh, Bustleton Hall. Uh, I've got a few use for the bread and butter type stuff. Just a pair of jeans. Been all right, I wanted the shots. A few little pieces of clothing. Nice. Rally shirt. I really like this. This is a very old, um, super sheer. Yeah, you're frothing on this, weren't you? Shearing polo. Yeah. You were frothing on this. So my old, my old man was a share back in the day, so... You know, Fucking so. New Zealand bloody uh, chic boys. Yeah. I do like that. It's not as good as the Dockers uh, jersey, but it's alright. <laughs> yeah. Couple of little uh, goonsies there. Yeah. Just a random footy. Bits and bobs. Yeah, that's nice. That it's a waffle uh, Southwest um, regional competition they did. Yeah, we got a bicycle one from the Australian Under 18 Championship. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, some puzzles that you got. Grand Prix hat. Who found your puzzle? You did. Yeah, cool. Stone Brothers Racing. There's on there. Not too bad. Some RM stuff. And what was your main? Your main find. There's, there's two things here. Oh. An old Walkman. Old Walkman. Still the muscle case. It's quite clean as well. Yeah, nice 50 bucks right there. Yeah, that's, that's good. And then this, probably the favourite one from that little region. So it's an, it's a America's Cup set of placemats. It's pretty nice. They're drinking VB or bottles of champagne. No, no, champagne. No. Yeah. So. Yeah, not bad. Some of them, some of them have been used more than others, but. We had, good. we had a discount coupon as well. So. Yeah, decent. Yeah. Fucking decent, man. Alright, so cheers, Frankie, for joining me. Um, you saw what Frankie got. Um, we have kind of decided that it's going to be a draw, but we'll still go through uh, my stuff. So we're going to go back to the uh, shed and show you everything that I got. But cheers for joining us again, Frankie. Let's do it. Back to the shed. This Bustleton trip wasn't too bad. So the first thing I got was one flew over the cuckoo's nest. One flew over the cuckoo's nest cost me 50 cents. Um, a fair few have sold for $15. So I'm going to turn this into $15. And I'm happy with that. Did 
get three pairs of jeans. Um, I got a pair of Billabong jeans. These were all three or four dollars each. Four dollars each. I probably paid too much. Uh, I'm only expecting to get 20 bucks out of those Billabong jeans. I don't know why I picked them up, and uh, but I did. I did. Uh, probably only 20 bucks, but I don't usually do clothes, so 20 bucks for those ones. Then we got some G-Star, G-Star Raw. Uh, let me know if I'm undercutting myself before I list them. Um, they're nice uh, ones there for girly girls. Um, I'm just putting in the kitty 30 bucks each for these G-Star Raw pairs of jeans. Um, there's two pairs, that first pair and uh, this pair. Geez, they're all expectations are only $30 for them. This next item, not many people would uh, know what this is, but uh, when you used to take your um, film to get developed, Kodak film to get developed when I was a kid, you would get one of these free plushes, and there was a yellow one and a blue one as well, but I never had those ones. I had this one as a kid. I remember his name was Flash. It even says his name is Flash on the uh, tag, Kodak. This was awesome. I had it as a kid, like I said. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be worth any money and I paid a dollar for it. I just grabbed it anyway and I've looked it up and it is, uh, it's been selling for $30. Um, so look out for this Kodak, uh, the Kodak plushes. I don't usually pick up plushes much, but as soon as I saw it, I was like, I've got to have that because I had that when I was a kid. Now this was $3, it's Battlestar Galactica. Uh, this is the complete, this is the complete of the originals. Um, never watched this, don't like it to be honest. Uh, but we can get um, three bucks we paid, we can get 20 bucks for this. 20 bucks plus postage and handling. 20 bucks from three dollars, I'm happy with that. Um, better than a kick in the dick. Found this uh, for $3.50. Yeah, three dollars fifty. This uh, rugby, uh, rugby league World Cup 2017 jersey. Um, a lot have sold for fifty dollars, but that was with free postage, and I charge postage. So um, I'm putting forty bucks in the bank. Easy, easy money. Forty bucks in the bank. It looks like a fair few of them sold. So uh, rugby league uh, jersey there, 2007. Uh, we got this Collingwood jumper. This looks like a 2010, um, 2010 extra large Collingwood jumper. It's just your basic woolly jumper. Uh, Five dollars fifty I paid for it. I reckon I'll get about twenty-five to thirty bucks for it. So uh, Collingwood fans are dumb. They will fucking uh, pay for it. So uh, thirty bucks for that. I think someone will buy that. Didn't get much this thrift, but I um, <clears throat> found this Under Armour stretchy, stretchy Under Armour uh, Superman shirt. Um, I paid two dollars for this. I have had one of these before. Um, not this blue though. It was a different blue. It was a darker blue, I think it was. Or was it a white one? I can't remember now. But I, I sold for fifty bucks. This is what those tough muscle men at the gym with their big arms, their big bulgy arms and they want to look like uh, Superman so they wear these because they've got no dick. This is pretty good. Two dollars and fifty bucks. Easy. Easily. Easily. Second last item. Two Aussie thrifters would love this. RM Williams. Aaron Williams straw hat. Uh, this is a country legends, high country legends. Must have been from some festival. Uh, the Outback, the Australian Outback Spectacular. Some festival they've had. Aaron Williams uh, hat. We, well, I paid uh, five dollars for this. Uh, Frankie got the yellow version. I got the reddish maroon version. I got no idea. I couldn't find anything on this, so I'm just going to say thirty bucks. Thirty bucks for the kitty. Might be more. Might be less. But I'm thinking 30 bucks for the kitty. Now 
Now, this Bustleton trip, uh, myself and Frankie have done gentlemen's agreement and called a draw on. Um, I think I've won it because of this item that I got at the very end, which you see on the uh, on the footage anyway. Uh, this Fremantle Dockers training jersey. Uh, this is their uh, South Fremantle replica, South Fremantle Bulldogs replica jersey. This is extra large as well, so it's a good size. It's when we're sponsored by Woodside. Um, this is when we still had the uh, anchor logo, Dockers anchor logo. Um, I'm going to put this on for bid for $150. Um, I will put in the kitty $150 because I guarantee I'll get $150. I reckon I'll end up getting up to $250 to $300 for this. Um, but I'm only going to put in the kitty $150. Um, this is definitely uh, something that is hard to find. There's only $5.50 as well. This is a very, very, very hard to find Fremantle jersey. Um, even though it's only a training one, uh, Fremantle fans absolutely love this shit. I love this shit. I was going to keep it, but I've got so many jerseys. Um, I don't like the red one because I don't like South Fremantle Bulldogs. And uh, that is the waffle team jersey that this is replicating. So. Um, that is cool. That is a wicked, wicked fine, that one. I think that was a fine for the day. I think that gives me the point for today's come through with us versus Frankie. But me and Frankie got a gentleman's agreement that uh, today was a draw even though he got the last point, so I'm still in front, doesn't matter, I'm still in front. So that can only leave us to one thing, and that one thing is... Bring up the kitty! Oof, kitty, we were in Bustleton, Bustleton! Two and a half hours, two and a half hours from our house, Oof. Long drive, long drive, kitty. We spent thirty-eight dollars. Well, I spent thirty-eight dollars. Thirty-eight dollars. Now that Dockers jersey will get one hundred and fifty, but it could it could be double that. I don't know. But we'll just take the one hundred and fifty, kitty. We spent thirty-eight dollars before fees, before taxes, before the mumbo jumbo bullshit. How much are we going to make, kitty? Once it all sells, woo! Four hundred. $45 for a part-time reseller for one brief, one afternoon brief that we did. Uh, how many stores was that? That was four or five stores. That was four or five stores. Uh, I think it was four stores actually, but uh, yeah, $38 in four stores. I like to spend cheap and try and get more back. Uh, fuck off, kitty. Fuck off, kitty. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, I'm happy with that. Can't wait to see what I get for that jersey once I take photos of it and uh, get some more info on that. Um, if you think it was a draw, or do you think I won, or do you think Frankie won? Uh, it, we've gone to a gentleman's agreement that it's a draw today anyway. Um, that, uh, that Dockers jersey brought me up to a draw, otherwise he was winning, but I think that Dockers jersey kind of took me uh, to the winning spot. But hey, I can't argue with a gentleman's agreement. Thanks for watching guys, uh, boost me up, and I can do more of these each week, uh, because I'm only part time, so I only can do these on the weekend, then I'm going to spend uh, during the week uh, editing as well, and I don't do it just for me, I do it for everyone that wants to see uh, me go, what I get and what I go thrifting, so I'm glad I'm doing it again though, I uh, really appreciate everyone that does uh, tune in. But I'm not going to keep talking shit, it's going on too long! Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want, I'll see you! Thank you.